Hello viewers, how are you? I am very fine. I am Muhammad Abdul Razak and today I am going to introduce you with some tools that are used in agricultural sectors and different sectors. Dear viewers, if you want to become a fluent speaker in English, you have to know ins and outs of the English language and you have to know how to describe the different tools in English language. Dear viewers, today I am going to introduce you with uh, these tools uh, that are very much common in rural area and city area. Uh, it is uh, very much common products, common tools uh, uh, for the world classes of people, but maximum people don't know what is the English name of the product. And some in some cases, they don't know how to describe this product in English language. So today I'm going to teach you how to describe these tools in, in English language. So dear viewers, let's get started. Dear viewers, picture number one. Picture number one is knife knife the spelling is a little bit different knife i'll show you how to write this tool name number one is knife knife it is used to cut different fruits and in some cases it is used to cut vegetables so it is very much needed tools in our home so dear learners the picture number one is knife knife picture number two what is the name of this tool maximum people knows this tool but they don't know what is the english name of the tool so dear learners uh, picture number two is bill hook what is the spelling of bill hook i'll show you first of all you know that this tool name is bill hook bill hook number two bill hook bill hook is used to cut bamboo and in some cases it is used to cut the branches of trees and so on so bill hook is used to cut the different things so this tool name is bill hook number three picture number three what is the name of the product what is the name of the tool it is very much common in different houses because um, it is used to cut the vegetables and meat and and so on uh, so this uh, the tool name is boti is it amazing for you because this tool has no another name it is very much common in the city area and village area and this product is very much needed for every family and this tool name is Boti. You may call it vegetable cutter, fish cutter, or meat cutter, but this tool name is Boti. Boti. Number three. Is Boti. So dear learners, picture number four. What is the name of the tool? It is also very much common in the rural area, especially farmer use this tool to duck the soil, to cut the soil. This tool name is spade. Spade. I'll show you what is the spelling of this tool. Number four is spade. So, dear learners, Picture number five is ladder. Ladder. Ladder is used to climb off the roof. In some cases, uh, we use it to get at the ceiling fan while repairing it. Because generally, ceiling fans are set on the top position 
and we don't uh, get at by standing on the floor that's why we use this tool to get at the ceiling fan while repairing it has another uses farmer use this tool uh, to level the soil in their crop lands so dear learners this tool name is ladder the picture number five is ladder number six is a sickle 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 is used to cut the paddy of wheat and different crops it is used by the farmer it is especially used in the rural area a farmer use this tool to cut the paddy a wheat and any other crops so this tool name is sickle number six sickle so dear learners picture number seven what is the name of the picture picture number seven is ho ho h o e ho ho is used by the farmer it is used to weed out grass from the crop land that means it is used to weed out the unnecessary plants from the crop lands. It is used by the farmer. This tool name is Ho. Ho. Number seven is Ho. Picture number eight. Picture number eight is scissors. Picture number eight is scissors. Scissors is used uh, by the tailor or seamstress. Seamstress is the feminine of tailors. So this tool are used, especially used by the tailor or seamstress, but we can use it to cut a rope or any other small things. Especially it is used by the tailors to cut cloth while making different dresses so uh, picture number eight is scissors scissors dear learners picture number nine is screw screw is used to join two pieces of wood this tool are used to attach steam with the wood. So picture number nine is screw. Screw is also used by the carpenter while making different house in the rural area. So this tool name is screw. Screw. Number nine. Screw. Screw is used to join two pieces of wood and in some cases it is used to attach steam with the wood while making different house in the rural area. So picture number 10. Picture number 10 is X. X, X is used to cut bamboo and small trees and so on. So it is used by the farmers the, or the village people to cut bamboo or any other small trees. So picture number 10 is X. X. The runners, picture number 11 what is the name of the tool this tool name is chisel it is used by the carpenter in some cases it is used by the mason uh, to cut the concrete so this tool is used by both carpenter and mason dear learners picture number 11 is chisel chisel
it is stadial picture number 12 what is the name of the picture picture number 12 is rents rents is very familiar tools in both city areas and rural areas uh, uh, this tool are very much common for all classes of people because whenever we on a tight the nut or bolt we have to use this tool and whenever we loosen the nut or bolt we have to use this tool so it is very much common in both city area and rural area so this picture name is rents number 12 is rents so dear learners picture number 13 it may unknown by the city people because this tool are used by the farmer but nowadays this tool are not used in the agricultural sector once upon a time people of the rural area used this tool to cultivate their land ancient people or our forefathers or ancestors used this tool to cultivate their land they used bullocks or waxen to now cultivate their land by using this tool but nowadays it is not used because after inventing the power tiller or tractor now a farmer used uh, to cultivate their land by using power tiller or tractor once upon a time people used to cultivate their land by using this tool so picture number 13 is plow plow p l o u g is plow picture number 13 plow it's a noun in some cases it's a verb plow means cultivate the lands or plow is a name of this tool dear learners picture number 14 what is the name of the tool it is cleaver 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 is used to chop the meat including beef mutton fowl etc especially it is used to chop the meat Cleaver. Picture number 14. Is Cleaver. Picture number 15. 15. It is very small picture, but it is very known product in different houses. This tool name is needle. Needle is used by the tailor or seamstress. Seamstress. Already you know seamstress is the feminine of tailor. It is used to mend our cloth. So this tool name is needle. Needle. Picture number 15. This needle. The learners picture number 16 is nail nail is used to join two pieces of wood and in some cases it is used to join tin uh, with the wood while making the house in the rural area especially when tin sheet house is made we have to use this tool to attach two pieces of wood or some cases we uh, use this tool to add a stain with the wood it is used by the carpenter carpenter this tool name is nail picture number 16 is nail so dear learners picture number 17 17 is hammer 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 is used to strike on the top of the nail and the screw to attach it. It is used by the carpenter and in some cases it is used by the mason. That means it is used both by carpenter and mason. This tool name is hammer. Picture number 17 is hammer.
dear learners uh, there is no space on my whiteboard that's why i can't write the spelling of the hammer the spelling of hammer is h a m m e r hammer there is no space on my whiteboard that's why i can't uh, write the spelling of this tool so dear learners uh, it is last but not least this product name is saw this tool name is saw so it's used by the carpenter and also it is used by the mason while making different house in the city area or the village area it is saw so is also the past form of c but here it is a product it's a tool name saw s a w s a w saw these tools are used by the carpenter and also it is used by the mason so dear learners i have introduced you with the different tools and i also showed you how to describe these tools in english language dear learners if we want to become a fluent speaker in english we have to know how to describe different tools and we have to know the different tools name in english otherwise it will be quite impossible for us to become a fluent speaker in english so dear viewers if you think that you are benefited by watching this video uh, please um, subscribe my channel and like my video and share this video with your fans so that they can get opportunity how to describe different tools in english language the viewers if you wanna know anything please make a comments below and if i do any mistake please make a comments below to recall me dear viewers no more today with best regards to you and to your parents i'll be back soon with another video so stay well keep learning bye bye